Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to play Call of Duty Mobile on the PC. So for starters, you want to go and get Game Loop. So you can go to this website just here. It is an emulator, and you can just download it from here. This one is very good, and the reason I say that is because it comes with a lot of presets, so it's already kind of set up so that your mouse and keyboard will emulate the mobile device very well. And so uh, just download that and it is quite easy from here simply just go to library it shows some of the best games and Call of Duty Mobile should be basically at the top and just like that you can have the game running on your PC it's really not that complicated now I'm gonna discuss the perfect settings that you're going to want to use as this is an emulator and so it can be a little bit janky anywho let's get to some of these settings now uh, so for starters, we're going to go to control, and you're going to want to change things to the advanced mode and to hip fire. This is what you would be used to as a PC or as a controller player. Now let's continue on to the basic stuff. Might as well keep aim assist on, unless you think you're an absolute pro and you want to keep, turn it off, but might as well keep it on. Everything else, I believe, is on default, but you can kind of pause the video and go over these things if you really need to. I do believe most of those are on default, though. Likewise, default for this. ADS, tap to ADS, um, display lift button, I have on, slide while running, also al always sprint, I'm not sure if that is default, but have it off anyways, gyroscope, uh, those should all be defaults, I believe, camera FOV and regular FOV, I bump those all the way up to the max because I think you might as well. Now you have marker settings, I have changed it to these, uh, the reason for that is it gives like the most clean screen availability. But if you do want to see your objectives a little bit better, then you can fiddle around with those yourself. Minimap settings, I have done, uh, I have, I believe these are also defaults, so use that as you will. Minimap settings, I have map zoom turned all the way down. And that way you can see kind of as much of the map as you can in your minimap. Seeing more things on the map is always a benefit. So that's, I believe, the only thing I've changed when it comes to that. Now we have audio and graphics. This section is really going to be personal preference and how good is your PC. But do note that frame rate is something you should try to maximize here. Uh, graphical quality. For me, I actually put it as medium despite having a good PC, and I've just found that it runs even more smoothly on medium, so that's something to just play around with, test out different graphical quality, and to be honest, I think having a smoother game over a beautiful game is better in my own opinion. Um, then there are some Battle Royale settings. Now, I may make a whole separate video for the Battle Royale settings, because there's actually a lot more for that than there is for regular multiplayer. Um... But if I do, I'll link that down in the description, and on that note, if you guys are interested in that, please just let me know in the comments, likewise with zombies. Uh, now let's go to sensitivity. So this is something you're probably going to want to be playing around with a fair bit, because I think as soon as you load into the game and your first match, you'll probably notice that your mouse sensitivity is crazy high. And so you're definitely going to want to tone that down, and so probably the first place you go to is sensitivity but that is actually not where you want to go to. The sensitivity in-game doesn't actually make a whole lot of a difference, so I would advise leaving them basically on defaults, and instead you actually want to go up here to key mapping. Now I'll just move this over so you can see it a little bit better, but over here you have your gamepad, and you really want to go to keyboard. Now down here you have mouse settings and the horizontal and vertical sensitivity. Now you're going to want to actually change it here. This is where you'll notice a significant difference, and where it kind of is implemented better. And so you probably want to drop it to around 30% is what I'd recommend, that's what I leave it on, and from there you can see if it's too low for you, increase it, if it's too high, decrease it, but I think 30 is probably what most people are used to. Now, BR settings, like I said, if you guys do want to see a video on that, I can make one. Vehicle settings, you can probably just leave those as default, and I believe all of the rest will also most likely be default. Now that should basically cover everything. I am considering making a few videos on certain loadouts. As you can see here, I do have the MP4 gold, and so if you would like to see that, you could maybe hit the subscribe button for a fella, you know? And on that note, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one.